And we'll get back to some more Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. You know, I'm very excited. Uh, in the last one, uh, I murdered a cat and uh, we found her deer. <laughs> And, yeah. and, and then I trained off screen, and now we got all of my party Pokemon up to level 13. So here's a little update on these. We have Snivy and whatnot. He learned Growth. And then Bellamy learned Bubble Beam. Still not a water type. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's getting there, though. And then uh, Leech Seed was added on, on the little bins. Yep. So now we're, we're ready to take on the gym! I'm already realizing we're already behind White 2. But I guess to be fair, we don't have to... We don't have to worry about Pokemon dying in that one. Yeah. Yeah. So now we, we just gotta head over to Asparagus City and, uh, and take on Charon now. Yeah, we gotta go beat his ass. Yeah, beat his ass, beat his ass. Oh, I forgot that... You forgot about... Edward! Look at that shit, I didn't even have to bend my legs for that. <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something very important. First, take these. <gasps> Orange berries. Ooh. We're gonna need those. <laughs> yeah, we can put them on all of our Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Those are Orange berries. If you give one to your Pokemon, its HP will be restored. What's more, you can give them to your Pokemon to hold as well. Like this Orange berry, for instance. When a Pokemon holds this berry, it can eat a berry when it gets hurt in the heat of the battle and regains some of its lost HP. Look at my hair flipping the wind. <laughs> Well, I told- I just told you the challenge is gym leader. Asparagus gym leader is a very strong Pokemon trainer. But you have nothing to worry about. If you think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do, and what you can do as a trainer, victory will be yours. And then you should be strong enough- wait. And then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. If you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will become brighter. Thanks. Thanks. Think he's so cool. How'd he get so cool? Alright, hopefully I don't run into a Pokemon. Yes. Oh, let's go. Alright, so we probably should put the berries on. Yeah. Alright. Ignore that. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> All right, so you get to hold a berry. Oh, motherfucker, they didn't fix this shit yet. No. So for anyone anyone wondering, um, yeah, training up all these Pokemon for this Nuzlocke is gonna kind of suck. Yeah, especially when we get more party Pokemon and then we have some in the boxes, because I like having them up to date. Because just in case something happens to one, then we gotta, then we gotta, like if we're a level 40 and one of them dies, then we gotta train up a level like, 20 Pokemon. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> yeah, so we just we just gave ourselves rare candies because I mean Hey, if Pokemon Challenges uses it, then we can use it. <laughs> that's true, that's yeah. true. He says that not using it is cringe and using it is based. Yeah. So So actually if we actually trained, we're actually betas. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so I think we're just gonna leave with Snivy for some of this. Alright, here we are. Hello, I'm Clyde, the guide for the trainers who challenge Pokemon gyms. Thank you for taking on this gym. Take this as a commemorative of your debut. I got fresh water, we're keeping that. And you see this later on eBay, it's like, fresh water! <laughs> Never open! <laughs> Never open. $250. Pokemon gyms are facilities to test trainers' strength. Put simply, if you defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon, you can fight that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. Even though you have fucking three. Oh, you must be a challenger. Welcome to Asparius' Cine Gym Leader. <laughs> I'm Sharon, the Gym Leader. Hmm? Well, maybe I better say that I just became the Gym Leader. <laughs> More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. Uh, we have a challenger, you two. Take your places. If you defeat those two, then I'll be your opponent. Thanks, Sharon. Yeah, I did not miss you. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone did. If you had a crush on Sharon as a kid, then uh, seek help. 
Who was your childhood crush? Because mine was N. Mine was Kim Possible. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what what was the first game character that you fell in love with? Or um, that you had a crush on, I guess? I don't know. I, I guess it would be like... It's so stereotypical for me to say like, I don't know, someone like Dawn from... from, from <laughs> Uh, I mean, Gen you 4. did start with Pokemon. Actually, didn't you start with Gen 3? Yeah. But, like... You saw May, and you're like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, May's, May's alright. I didn't I didn't really like May that much, because, uh... Like, I saw her in the games, obviously, but she doesn't play, like, that... A huge that, role. Yeah, you that, see her sometimes, and she, you beat her up, and that's all. Yeah, plus, uh... Like, in the, in the anime... Because I, I based it off of like a lot of the anime too. Yeah. Uh, in in the anime, uh, May's kind of a bitch. <laughs> Misty, on the other hand, Misty a baddie. <laughs> what was that? Except oh, for the fact yeah. that she's like twelve. Yeah. But what um? Did you like Cynthia? That's very stereotypical. People that like uh. Oh, Cynthia actually a baddie, through and through. I don't know, like, a lot of people will be like, Oh my god, Cynthia, bark, 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 bark. <laughs> oh, of course, but I, I, I just had like... Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. How dare you. It's only 11 a.m. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm tired from having woken up not that long ago. Oh, excuse me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lori's faster, it's fine. No, C Cynthia had that, you know, dummy mommy kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. Which I can respect. Mm -hmm. All right. So is Cynthia your answer of your first like actual like video game crush? I told you it was probably Dawn. Oh okay. Wait, Dawn is in first gen, right? No, Dawn's in fourth. Second? Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The people out there that are cultured are gonna are gonna understand that uh, Dawn is a, is in uh, quite a, quite a few uh, things on the internet and oh my god <laughs> my first video game crush was and my first actual like cartoon crush was Duncan from Solo Drama uh, how that's you know I thought mine was stereotypical I think yours is just actually so stereotypical any anyone that grew up in our generation like any girls I feel like have the same answer fuck you. <laughs> You watched solo drama with me, uh, like, like early on in our relationship. You didn't think any of those girls were like, you wouldn't have been like... Smash. Yeah. Like Lindsay, or like, Aww, Heather. Oh, you propped your Orenberry. I have five! I can put another one on them. There's fucking... Wait, didn't you like Zoe? When we were watching, uh, Gen, like, the Gen 4 people? Was well, Gen two people technically? I mean, yeah, she kind of a baddie. Yeah. Everyone so, so suppo supposing they're of age. <laughs> gotta, gotta. I'm trying to remember. Gotta like, clarify. I wonder how old they are in, in Star and whatnot. They're probably like. Okay. They're probably old enough to be adults, cause like when they, like the Gen one kids and whatnot, the Gen one teenagers, they're around sixteen when they start the show. And they have like three seasons that they go to, and then they do All Stars later on. I think they're 18 by the. <laughs> I feel like they are because I know it's. I know with cartoons they never really technically age; they just keep the same and whatnot. But like that's a large gap in between the shows. They probably aged at some point. Well, that, that's like saying that like Vanellope von Schweetz from freaking Wreck It Ralph Who? is. The little, the little oh my girl. God. That's like saying that she's like 20 years old because there's 10 years in between the first uh, and second one. Alright. I'm trying to remember when they say, like, it's been blank years since we had a show. Well, to me, it, seem, it feels Here. like in that show, it's like. It's like season and season and season and season. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Might as well get the full PP deck. Yeah. And I'll go put the Warrenberry back on it. Alright, I have I have a strat in mind for Charon, or you can go into it however you what, want. Cry and piss my pants. It, it's it's up to Wait, you. Wait, can I can I reveal my strategy for it? Sure. Alright, so you know how we found those X items. There's an X speed and an X attack that we have. Mm -hmm. I say that we you we send out Snivy, I'll put an Orenberry on him. 
We do an X attack that goes up to like two stages on the attack, and we use Vine Whip. <laughs> we get Stab on it. Okay. Well, since uh, Vine Whip is a physical move, right? Let me see. Yeah, physical move. That is, a, that is a good strategy. And if we need to, we can use growth as well, since growth boosts our, uh, boosts our attack. There you go. Hmm. Alright, alright, we, we can go with that strategy. Alright, let's go. If, if you want to use the X out. My, my strategy was just lead out with Sunkern. Oh, and use Leech Seed? No, and, use, oh. and just spam growth. Oh. And just Mega Drain it to death. Yeah, but I'm also worried that they're gonna do... I, I realize that. Alright, I got this! Watch this, this is gonna be the first time I challenge Sharon and no one dies. <laughs> if someone Just... skips to 10 minutes in the video and sees <laughs> that, that two party members are gone from the from the bottom. No, it's just, I like that. Thanks for watching this Nuzlocke! <laughs> Till next time, yeah. uh... We're next gonna... series, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney! <laughs> Imagine having a Nuzlocke that's why it's two episodes! <laughs> Just as your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a battle that we can be proud of. I gotta watch Black and White, the LP that we did, and see how the fuck I did sure it's voice back in the day. I feel like it's like that, because I gave him a nerd voice. I'm like, Phoenix. And I was like, ha, ah, nerd emoji, nerd emoji, nerd. I wonder, do you need the XP? Probably not. I mean, we'll find out in a second when I go attack. Battle items. Why does it ask which one I want to use it on? I know, right? It's like, what's the point? Oh. At least it only went by one, by one stage. Yeah. Alright. Oh shit, no, no, my bad. Uh, let's see. How much damage is Okay, do? we're faster. I'm scared. You think we can survive a, a plus two attack from Patrat? Maybe. I, th I think you can. Okay. Unless it's a crit, but we're, we're, just, we're just gonna have to go with that game. High roll! High roll! High roll! Ah! <laughs> Alright. 15. He's gonna heal, so you might as well just use Vine Whip and then Vine Whip again. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't heal the way. Okay, let's. Okay, we did it. Should I use Growth when the Little Pup comes out? Hmm. So that will be plus three, and that way it's a guarantee of two shot. You'll, you'll be plus two, because X attacks in this game are only up one. Really? I thought I said sharply. It said attack rose. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay, I can do a plus one, like another plus one to it. Yeah. If it ends up hitting me this turn, then at least my worm berry will activate. Yeah. Okay, we're faster than the low pup. It might be a speed tie. We'll find out in a second. Fine. That's funny, I don't even think our our Snivy can even learn to work out. <laughs> oh, mm. it has more defense. This might hurt. Ooh, okay! Where, <laughs> where are my potions? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we don't have any potions! <laughs> I didn't know that! <laughs> Where are because we- Did we not buy any? I swear we have one. Okay, 15. You can just- you, if, if you survive this next tackle, then you can just find one twice. Okay, we're still faster, so I, I think we actually are faster. Okay. <laughs> no casualties! Alright, nicely done. R.I.P. Perloin. <laughs> Look at that. Gone but not forgotten. Yeah, poor Nami. <laughs> Liz, this is what a real Pokemon battle is. Oh my god, we survived Sharon. <laughs> okay, so, so now that we know that it's only up by one stage, you could have just done two growths and yeah. and done the same thing. Okay, no, I I, I didn't the previous games do them sharply? No. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. 
I give you this as an honor of the strength of you and your Pokemon shown. I got a badge. Dude, we're one step closer to getting the One Piece. It's like those, like, ponographs that we had to, like, get in order to read where the One Piece is. This is your first gym badge, the basic badge, for basic bitches. This is an important milestone. With this gym badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you and could be traded Pokemon. And I want you to take this. I got work up, let's go! TM83 can teach your Pokemon to move work up. When you use work up while battling, it raises the user's attack and special attack. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. This ain't no emerald shit. <laughs> In the Unova region, there are eight Pokemon gyms and eight gym badges. If you're a trainer, you should collect them all. It will make it easier to fill out the pages of the Pokedex as well. Yes, two years ago, Pokedex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. I never saw that one girl. What's her name? A phoenix? <laughs> I never saw her again. Okay, so I just looked it up. Prior to Gen 7, it's one stage. Oh. So maybe that's what I'm used to. Like, 8 and 9, they do it, like, double stages. Hey. Actually, I can't remember his... No, it is like that. <laughs> that's what you gave her in the last game. How was it? How did your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. And that's where Barry does. <laughs> wow, amazing. And you just set off on your journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer, I'm sure of it. This is for me. It's the TM for the move return. Oh my god, we can give that to our Azumarill. That's true. Because their whole thing is friendship. And it'll be an actual stab move for it right now. Yes! Wait, doesn't it say water normal for its entire life? Well, it's normal. It's, it's normal right now, and then I think it's water normal. Does Meryl turn into normal water, and then Azumarill turns into like just pure water? No, I think I think it's normal, then normal water, then normal water. Okay, I know. I know. After this game, it turns into water fairy, and then I think the little baby one is normal fairy. Yeah. When a Pokemon knows return, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is. Still, that chair. Bianca. It's been two years, hasn't it? I keep wanting to put my fucking face next to my- my hand next to my face to push up my non-belief glasses. Oh wow. Well, what's up? I thought it would be a good idea to register each other in the X-Transceiver. Have my number. <laughs> now you can communicate with me with your X-Transceiver. But me too. Thanks, Bianca. I registered Pre Professor Juniper for you, too. Yo, how does she have my number already? <laughs> Why, hi there, Edward. This is Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokedex. Thank you very much. Thanks to you, we'll know, we'll know more about Pokemon to be able to get along with them better. Hi, Professor Juniper. It's really interesting over here. There's so many Pokemon we couldn't prove were here two years ago. Thank you for going for so far for this era, Bianca. And Sharon, are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Juniper, it's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing well. The gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners, my level's six, level 60 Scotland. <laughs> oh, Sharon. Having battles that come down to the wire will make a gym leader who deepens the pawns between the challengers and their Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Charon's a new gym leader, I'm an assistant Pokemon professor, and Edward is a new trainer. But we always have Pokemon by our sides. That's right, Bianca. Why does Edward look like that? <laughs> God, he is... What is that haircut? <laughs> I don't know. Our world... Our world is a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, Edward. The Pokedex may be important, but first, please enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Edward. Isn't Professor Juniper cool? If you talk to her on the X-Transceiver, she'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve. And you can call us, too, of course. I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along, okay? 
Bianca makes a good point. I'll tell you about how Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. Okay. No. <laughs> Is that ha ha ha? Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle. You look like a strong trainer. Understood. Please come into my Pokemon gym. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely going to take you down. <laughs> Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. Next thing is to make it so you can use the Sea Gear. Sea Gear is a cool device for communication such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi Fi connection. Yay! The likes of which you can't use. Yeah. Fuck it, emulator bitch. <laughs> uh, I accidentally hit yes. It's fine. We can't do anything with it right now. Check this. The Sea Gear was activated and that screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon in the bottom right corner of the Sea Gear screen, you can read about the Sea Gear. Like, what are you going to do now? You know there's another Pokemon gym in Burbank City, which is just past Fakusi uh, Town. Yep, there is! I'm so excited! Alright, let's go heal our team members. So what's our new level cap? It's 18, right? 18. 18. And it's poison, so we have two people that are grass types. Do we- well, we get- we get some new members. We only get one new member in this new area. Well, I'm hopeful that we get one- yeah. There's, um... I'm hopeful that we get we, one that I'm thinking of. There's Coughing that we can get. There is Magby. There's Elekid. There's Magnemite, which might be really useful since it won't get hit by poison. I think Magnemite's the most oh, I missed it again! <laughs> I'm a failure! I didn't look at the board this time! Uh, I'm disappointed in you. I know, I'm sorry. Restart this. <laughs> All right, now we can, now we have access to shaking grass. Yay! It'll make it a lot easier if I want to like train off screen. Yeah, once. and if there's bad Pokemon in a certain area, we can at least guarantee getting an Audino. Yeah. Or if we go far enough into these routes, we'll get a Molga. <laughs> hey, we can get a uh, like a user of acrobatics. A Molga is pretty good. Yeah, and their acrobatics and electric type moves and. Pursuit and double team, that's it. <laughs> that's all I ever equipped those things with. <laughs> Alright. I think I'll have Sun Kern out for this uh, Riolu fight. Because that's what the hiker has, if I remember correctly. I think so. Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex I gave you. I'm going to add the habitat list. It's an amazing feature. I'm just going to borrow your Pokedex for a second. No, don't touch me! <laughs> With the habitat list, you can check which Pokemon are in the area. It's a mode in the Pokedex. To use it, open up the Pokedex and tap the habitat list button on the lower left of the touch screen. Next, pick the area you want to see. You can see all the Pokemon that live in that area. It even tells you which ones you've already caught. Nice! Would you like to hear our explanation again? No. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I have a tip for you. When you're walking down a path, you'll sometimes see a rustling grass. If you go to that spot, well, I'll let the rest be a surprise. Thank you. Filling up the Pokedex and me will make your world bigger. So to go to many different places and meet many different Pokemon, okay? See ya. Bye, Bianca. She's so cool. <laughs> She's a game fucking so <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me. Oh yeah, by the way, there's an item here. You guys should get that. I got it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, that gleaming thing right there is a basic badge, you beta. But don't get your swell head. This, this is a rough world. Here, I'll show you. Punches you in the face. Throat chops you. Yeah. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Hit you right in the kneecap. It's like this part, and then you just fold. <laughs> Alright, level 11 Riolu, let's do it. It's a good thing our, uh, our bins is very... tanky. Damn it, I thought it would hit. I wanted to put him to sleep. <laughs> I think I got some HP back from it. Heal for five. Doesn't it have the... oh, I guess it does have foresight. Oh no, he can hit me! A grass type! <laughs> He's been doing that! <laughs> I wonder if 
it's worth it to do that for some Pokemon. Like, if you- I guess if you're in a run where you're only allowed to use fighting types and whatnot, you, you could, like, keep Foresight. That way you can always hit, uh, Ghost-type Pokemon with fighting-type moves. Yeah, luckily, Ghost-types ghost aren't super, super common. Mm-hmm. That'd be an interesting Nuzlocke thing to do, where you can only use one type. Yeah, it's a monotype Nuzlocke. Yeah. Lots of people out there have done those. Yeah. They're Sometimes hard. they're hard, yeah. I'm the strongest trainer in my preschool! I'm the only one! I electrocute the kids! <laughs> what does this thing have again? Doesn't it, like, have a purloin? Oh, a side duck. Oh, he, he, like, sends them confusion, and they're like, Oh my god, my head! I don't <laughs> understand math! My fucking head! <laughs> Shy! <laughs> Oh, I was hit. about to say, that was a lot more damage than I was expecting. Oh, my orange berry! No! I always go get Pecha berries with, uh, with Charon in a moment. That mm -hmm. way we can have them for the, uh, the thing. I probably won't be using, uh, what is this guy's name again? Oh, Bins or, uh, what's this guy's name again? <laughs> Aramaki. Aramaki for this poison gym and whatnot, because poison's super effective only against one thing in this game, and it's grass, and you have two of them. So, it may be Bellany and then whoever um, we get as a party Pokemon. We still- we can't catch anything here, because this counts the same area. Edward Point! Is this a mix between Hugh and Charon's fucking music? Come with me, you two. I'm about to teach you some fucked up shit. <laughs> See the tall, dark grass here? It's rare, but something two Pokemon will jump out at the same time. Also, the Pokemon that hide in the dark grass is slightly stronger, so be careful if you walk through here. If you're going to challenge the next gym, it's the Verbank Gym. These might help. I'm slowly turning them into Jennifer Coolidge and really <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. Here's some for you, Teach. <laughs> Both of you do your best. If you need anything, call me on my X transceiver. Sharon sure knows a lot, and he fought those Team Plasma thugs too. I've decided I'm going to get stronger than him. You should kill your do your best. <laughs> Fill out the Pokedex and have my back. Got it? All right, we'll try. There is a Pokemon down here. Please don't run anything horrible. You mean it's a great ball, it's not Pokeball. Shut up! No, I meant like the I like, fuck you. I meant like Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> run away! Please run away. Please. Yeah, oh. You know, there was potential for it to have been a smarter idea to have skipped this this route and and gotten the encounter here. It would have been impossible for us. At some point, it would have been like a thing. Who's in the front? Let's put Bellamy in the front. We haven't seen the little mouse play that much. I wonder when Bellamy's gonna evolve. Hey there! Look at my awesome Pokemon. I'm a little scared to take on that Dunsparce that's in the corner because last time I took it on in a Nuzlocke, it fucking wiped me <laughs> like crazy. I mean, you don't have to. I'll fight just, them. I'll just keep it. To, I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> I just know trainer battles are a lot easier for getting XP. You know. Yeah. I want to at least try to get people leveled up before I use rare candies. You know. Because I know with the whole when you beat up things, it gives you like some IVs to go with it, depending on what you're beating up. So I'm trying to be a little smart about it. It gives EVs, not IVs. IVs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn, bitch, turn into a water tape already. I'm very surprised you kept Bellamy in, considering a crit would have just killed it. No, I'm built different. I saw the I saw it and I knew it wouldn't critical hit. I saw the line where it did. <laughs> I'm but, actually but from you the kept, you kept it in, wasted your orange berry, and risked it dying to a crit. <laughs> We're gonna have to battle those twins. And the twins have two sawaddles. Hmm. No 
don't have very good Pokemon against that. No. At least they won't have grass. So Bellamy should be fine, but we need to... I think we can do this, right? Yeah, but what if they target Bellamy? That's, yeah, that's a problem. They don't have a lot of options. And it's a forced double battle. So yeah, just go back. You can heal and... Uh, oh, I was gonna say, you can just go buy some items, too. That is also true. That's fine. I think I think it'll be fine for one battle without yeah. items. Well, I wanted to get at least heal. There we go. All right, we should we should be fine. And nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong. <laughs> oh, we did a bomb. I think it's like an X something. Oh, an no, antidote. It's an antidote. No, it does. Poisons the next gym. You can't complain about that. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, oh wait, we can get this. Dire hit. It increases chances of critical hits, right? I think so. You know what you what you could have done? You could have gone all the way back, you could have deposited two Pokemon, came all the way over. Were they me? Wait, they wouldn't have challenged me? They don't challenge you if you have one Pokemon. Why did you say anything sooner? Oh, we're fine. Oh, no, we're not fine. <laughs> Take him out! Be Bellamy's not a water type. Oh, that's right. Sorry. He's blue, so I keep thinking he's a water type. You should teach it return, though. Yeah, I forgot about that. A water, in the Middle East. Oh, wait, you know what I can just do? Do Tail Whip, because that lowers their defense. Yeah. And then. Oh. I'll just use Tackle that on us. Yeah. Even though Vine Whip is stab. Yeah, I think they watched my Tanner weapon. Who did target? <laughs> nice. Oh, he got back one HP! They double targeted you for two damage. I'm so scared right now, I'm shaking in my boots. Quivering. Absolutely quivering. They're shitting themselves so hard right now. Dude, I'm doing the strats right now, holy shit. I'm just built different. <laughs> uh, eh, fuck it, we can try water gun. Yeah. Well, you probably could have just done bubble beam because it's stronger, but. Yeah. No, it matter. didn't even matter. <laughs> Beautiful! Man, I can't fight any longer. Uh oh, I'm shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> My Pokemon don't look so well, it's like they're dead. They're in the Peter Griffin pose. <laughs> Hey Peter, you wanna come join our book club? Okay! <laughs> What's that one that I really love? Oh, wait. Oh! You are with three more. <laughs> I had four. <laughs> Rest in peace. But yeah, more Pokemon, your journey will be more fun. Here, I'll just take these. Nice. Well, sir, it's a basic first come, first serve in this gen. <laughs> you know what they say, cheerful company, short runs the miles. Get a point. What's that one? He's like, uh, he's like, you know how you- Oh, fuck. <laughs> he came on to tell me. <laughs> what? I bet it's her mom. Oh, wow, it's your mom. What, how you, what are you are right now? Wow, Burnbank City, that's a complex place there, right? Have, have you been there yet? The way it looks at night is quite nice. And you also train your Pokemon there. I know your Pokemon do some things that you can do with others. I hope you can work together and accomplish many things. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Anyway, that, that Peter Griffin thing of like the, uh, like, get, didn't you always want a nice wedding ring? Like, oh my god, yes! I bought a horse! <laughs> I love it. Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to Pokestar Studios to live up to my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. Get real! Kill your. <laughs> You're a captain already, aren't you? If that ship doesn't move, you're gonna cause a lot of problems. Oh, dear daughter, you split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that too. Later. Ha 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 ha. Kill yourself. Ugh, you dim-witted, dense, dumb, daft, dip, dorky, daughter's doofus. Doing double duty isn't the problem. You're causing problems for people. 
keeping people from getting to where they need to go because of the sheer selfishness is unforgivable. I've had it. I'm going to the gym. I feel like if uh, <laughs> drama, I'm out of here. Let me register this place real quick. And go buy, go buy some potions and go buy some pokeballs. Yes. Actually, we got great balls just now. How many did we get? Uh, I'll check in a moment. But I will buy potions while I'm here. There's never too much things as having too many healing items. Yeah. Especially since in this game it doesn't matter how much you have in your in your uh in your bag. Ooh, super potion. Okay, we have three of these and five of these. That should be fine. Maybe buy I don't think that many. Okay. Maybe buy like five super potions and five potions. Okay. There we go. Gangster. Oh yeah, we can get the um the thing I was that uh the scarf real quick. Yeah, and do you wanna teach Azumarill uh Oh return, absolutely. Hold on. That way it'll have a stab move. Finally! Alright, here you go. You can get you ready to charm. Wow, oh, charm is actually not a bad move to have kept. Uh... It it lowers their attack down by two stages. Uh, so I would have just gotten rid of water gun. I'm a healer. It's fine. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I can get that item right quick without, like. Well, this yes, accuracy. Is, this is our nice. new encounter. Yeah. But I want to get the scarf real quick. Oh, it's so tempting! <laughs> but I don't think. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. There's better Pokemon for us to get. And I think it's better for us to get our encounter in the actual complex itself than the outside. I feel like it gives us more Pokemon. You give that to a zero. Yeah. Then that return will actually do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's go. Especially once it evolves. Hopefully it'll evolve, but by the time, uh. Actually, do you want to level it up and see, uh, because it's close to leveling up. Yeah, well, we had to catch our Pokemon first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, we just killed the first thing that we see. This is no problem. Uh, okay. Ready? Yep. I didn't even think there was grass over there. <gasps> it's a growl! Oh, it's so cute! It's another man! <laughs> oh, aren't you adorable? We have... We have another doggy. We should have a fire type now, that's really good. Yeah, especially since the um the ace and Roxy's. Oh is... it's poison bug! Yeah. Oh, I tried using bide. Oh wait. Would this thing no more? Uh I'm not sure. Oh please don't use roar on me! <laughs> Okay, oh, it's, no, a random, it's a random chance, even if it does know it. I'm scared to touch it. Yeah. Because we have water moves and return. <laughs> oh, nice. let's go! <laughs> All right. I was really hoping for the you, Magnemite, you... actually, but you know what? This is a good encounter, too. You know what to name it. Puppy! Extremely loyal to its trainer. It barks at those who approach the trainer unexpectedly and runs them out of town. <laughs> this, wait, when it evolves, isn't it called the legendary Pokemon? Yeah. Are we naming this thing Ace? Yeah. Is that what you're insinuating? Alright. Except this one's gonna survive. Yeah, it's not gonna get turned into a donut. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we should check them out real quick. Please be adamant nature. Let's Actually, see. oh, he has an item. Take it. A Rost Berry that heals burn. Yeah, I wonder why he has it. <laughs> Serious nature. Oh, I think that's does not. Yeah, that's, nothing. that's fine. That's yeah. honestly fine. Flash fire. It powers up fire type moves if it's hit by one. It did have roar. <laughs> oh, thank God it didn't use it. That would have been. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Roar fails. And while no, it, it works. 
No, it, it tried using Roar. If you if you go back in the footage, it tried using Roar as soon as the battle started and it failed. Really? I've seen uh, like that uh, Syphilis uh, Pokemon use Whirlwind and it always ends my battle. Please don't say Syphilis. <laughs> that's, that's the Sigilith? STD. <laughs> Is it Sigilith? Yes. My bad. <laughs> I always see Sigilith use Whirlwind and it constantly blows me out of battle and then the battle ends. Yeah. Thank goodness we didn't get this pit of. I'm sorry to say, pit of, you're, you're cool and all, but. But you suck. You're not, you're not as cool as. Growlithe. I think return does more damage. Oh shit, you're right. I keep forgetting. I'm like, yeah, it's blue, it's water. Yeah, let's see how much damage return actually does. So this did like a fourth oh, with bubble I, beam. I wish I put on the scarf. We gotta take him out. You can use Leer twice. Yeah. We can put in Growlithe! Okay, that wasn't bad. Alright, let's put in Ace. He doesn't have a fire type move that looked like. Oh, he has Ember. Does he? Yeah. I swear I didn't see it. it had... Oh, yeah, he does have Ember. We're gonna be bouncing! <laughs> Perfect! Good job, Ace. Alright, let me, um. Let me put that scarf on him real quick. Yeah. I'm like fastening it onto him, and I'm like, here you go. Just like tie it as like a neckerchief. There you go. And now we can train off of Otters if we wanted to. That way we can get HP EVs. That's true. It is useful to do. Yeah, especially in a Nuzlocke. You, I, I get attacks very useful, but sometimes you just want more HP sometimes. <laughs> God damn it! I'm sorry! <laughs> Hey, it protected itself, so there we go, we're fine. Okay. 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 Beautiful. Bubble up. Yay! I'm hoping it evolves here. <gasps> it dies! Bellamy's evolving! Our first evolution of the of the Nuzlocke. Yay! <laughs> what a good moment to do it since we're running up on like 42 minutes right now. And now it's normal water. Yep. Oh, its ball got smaller. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I think it proportionally just got bigger. <laughs> but it just absorbed its tail. <laughs> All right, we gotta check out everything now. All right, so here's the ending shit. Oh, it's just a water type. Oh, shit. So it lost its normal type. I mean, we could still keep return on it for a little bit until we get, like, um, mythical water. Yeah. So it still has thick fat. Well, since it's a friendship Pokemon, I mean, return's not a bad move to just keep on it. Yeah. And then, all right, here's Snivy's all stuff. Here's Ben's stuff. And here's Ace, our brand new little party guy. Very happy with how this is turning out. Yep. Probably should go heal them and then end the episode real quick. Yeah. So I guess in the next one we'll go more into the the Verbank complex and uh, battle some trainers and get everything done in that area and then maybe if we are leveled up by that point we'll challenge Roxy. Yep. That's a good idea because I was I was worried because if you were just gonna train off screen then. We're gonna be over leveled for the complex when we do it. Yeah, and some of your Pokemon would evolve off screen. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. We had that happen so many times in Emerald. <laughs> yeah. But we'll we'll get it this time. We'll actually have them recorded. Yeah. Let's go. I got to actually do my job right. <laughs> I love the, like this is a Gen three five game and we have one Gen five person. <laughs> yeah. We got what is. A Growlithe's from Gen 1, a M Meryl's from Gen 2, right? Meryl's from Gen 3, uh... Sunturn's from Gen 3 too, right? No, Sun I'm pretty sure Sunturn's Gen 2. Oh, you're right. So you have one from the first four generations. Nice. Or actually, no, you don't You don't have one from Gen 4. Yeah. You have one, two, three, and five. I don't think we get one from Gen 4 for a while. Yeah, I think Sunkern's Gen 2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not 100% certain. I don't know. I'm dumb. 
Uh, all I'm hoping for this run is that we get a sand dial. If we get a sand dial, then easy clap. We're, we're clearing the entire game with just it. The only There's three places we can get it. There is the Route 4, Desert Resort, and then the Relic Castle. But Relic Castle is a 50-50. If either we get a Yaw Mask or a Sand Dial. So you better pray. The, the good thing is Relic Castle, either way, those are two good encounters. Like, yeah. Yeah, Yaw Mask is pretty good. Yeah. But... <laughs> you know my fun fact about Yaw Mask is and whatnot? What? Oh, like, when it evolves, it, co it, come, it evolves to Coppa Grievous, right? And when you name a Pokemon, like, you can't change it back. So if you want to have it back to be named Coffee Grievous, you have to nickname it. And it won't let you because it has the word fag <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's true. That's, that's so weird that it censors out a, a slang for a cigarette. That's, <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. I just find it funny that it's in its name and they won't even let you bring it back to it. Yeah. Mm. All right, so next one. We'll do complex. Yep. Finish the complex, and then maybe we'll take a shot at Roxy. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll see. Or at least we can get her other two people down before we uh, challenge her. It all depends on how well that episode goes. Yeah. But, till next time. Yep. Bye! Bye! -bye.